friends and welcome back. Today I am making my spring cheesecake. Um, it's light, it's airy, it doesn't weigh you down. It's just absolutely delicious. This is the one that I make every Easter and every spring. Because um, like I said, it just doesn't weigh you down. I am going to do graham cracker crust. Unfortunately, I ended up getting cinnamon, um, but that's okay. So, again, this is my spring cheesecake, and you're going to need one and a half cups of graham crackers. It technically is like a pack and a half. Um, four tablespoons, I'm sorry, three tablespoons of sugar and one third cup of melted butter. I found my Ninja uh, food processor in a tote, thank God. Because I've been baking and doing all kinds of things today. And I want to give myself a little grace, you know. And use a current appliance, if you know what I'm saying. So, I'm in Pennsylvania. We have Philadelphia cream cheese here. That's the only thing that I use. But I get this three-pound brick from Sam's Club. So, it has the lines to tell you what equals out to eight ounces. So we're going to be, if you're just buying it by the pack, it would be four packs of Philadelphia cream cheese, cup of sugar, teaspoon of vanilla, four eggs, and uh, the zest of one whole lemon, and the juice from one whole lemon if it's small. If you have a really big juicy lemon, only use half. Uh, the oven's going to go on 325 for 55 minutes until the center is set, but still has a slight jiggle. And, uh, yeah, I don't usually get cracks on the top of my cheesecake. So, uh, let's see if I can get started at least with the crust. What did I do with my, okay. I am using Jean's Springform pan right here. Um... I'm definitely going to have to wrap it in foil because of the factor. I tried everything earlier, was testing it out to make sure it had no leaks, and it was kind of leak. I am so sorry about that. I feel like the dogs know as soon as I hit the record button and they have to bark. Okay, so I have my black thing on because it is suddenly getting very chilly willy. My arms are cold. Okay, so I'm going to start with my one and a half cups of graham crackers. So this, let me see if I can show you. This Ninja um, has the cup measurements right on here. But I think it leaves like five left in the pack. So I am going to get these open. And I'm going to get these going in the Ninja food processor. Now the dog's crying and now barking. Sorry again, my friends, you know. Thomas and Jean just got home, so the dogs were crying. I am doing... Four tablespoons of melted butter. Graham crackers are in there. I'm going to melt this in the microwave and get that going. Okay, so I'm putting the microwave, putting the butter, four tablespoons, in the microwave. Let's try this. Okay, I have my melted butter, but I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to start pulsing the graham crackers. And just to let you know, it left one, two, three, four in the second pack. So a pack. And then you'll be left in the second pack, you should be left with four graham crackers. So let's see. So now I'm bang this off because I want to add my butter into here. Oh, 
along with my three tablespoons of sugar, which I measured it out in a bowl, because that is going to be our crust. Let's put the lid back on and give it a whirl. looking like I don't know how to explain it like sand I usually like to come in here and see if it'll hold together okay looking good okay some interruptions here today I am going to put my graham crackers right into the pan Get a little scraper. And you may hear the lawnmower, and that is because they're cutting the grass over near the chickens because they got a different fence. So the dogs are in here crying, the lawnmower's going. You know how my life goes when I try to do videos. Now, let me bring you a little bit closer. Let me move this. I kind of want to show you what I do. So there's the crust. Initially, I will just press it down with my fingers to get it as even as possible. Just get it in there. Sometimes I will stick my graham cracker crust in the oven, and sometimes I just don't, and it just holds together. Okay, so what I want to show you is you can take a measuring cup, hopefully you can see this, and you can just give it a press and start getting it to go up the sides. Sounds like this lawnmower is going to die. So... Just give it a press and get it to go up to sides a little bit, just like so. Make sure the middle is flat. That's a good way where you can get the crust to come up the sides a little bit. It's just by using this and pushing it up the sides a tad bit. Nothing crazy, nothing real fancy. You just want a little bit coming up the side. So, there is the graham cracker crust all done and made. Let me move this ninja and we're gonna get started on the batter. Okay, so you saw the crust. Now let me turn you this way. I wash these. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use Jean's thing, not a microplane. And I am going to just take off the rinds. Try not to get any of the white. Just the lemon peel. And one whole lemon best lemons we could find. Myers lemons are so good. It's just that it's a little bit smaller. It smells yummy. If you hear anything else, that would be the oven. I have it preheating on uh, two, no, I'm sorry, 325. And I'm just trying to get the rind off of one whole lemon as best as possible. If your lemon is extremely tiny, 
You could use the zest of two lemons. Okay, so I'm going to go in with two. Another tip is to zest your lemon first before you go to squeeze it. This is, after all, a spring cheesecake. And this is just how I make mine. And it tastes nice and fresh. And a lot lighter than a lot of heavy cheesecakes. Okay. I'm just going to take my finger and get the rest of this off. I have a microplane. Jean doesn't really bake and cook like that. So I just make do with what I have here. There we go. Okay. So we have the lemon peel. I'm going to get the paddle attachment for my KitchenAid and we're going to get ready to start mixing the batter. Now I just cracked four of my fresh chicken eggs into a separate bowl so I could have them ready. All egg sizes will be different, but they look glorious. Okay. Now, I have Jean's attachment, which is the scraper one. She actually bought me one of these for my birthday for my KitchenAid, but this is just hers. Okay, so this is how this is sold here at Sam's. Let's see if I could get it open. Okay, so this is the way that it's sold when you buy it in the brick, and it'll have the lines, which equals out, and you see that? Eight ounces, so I'm going to need four of them. So I'm going to cut that and we're going to get that in the bowl. If we're using the regular, you would just use four boxes to fill it off your cream cheese. I'm just using the bigger one. So one, two, three, four. I can't say it's exactly cheaper. It just happened to be this kind of was. Doesn't leave me a whole lot left though. That's the unfortunate thing. So let me get this paper off. And it's a big block, so what I think I'm going to do is just start cutting it down into pieces, which it's definitely room temperature. So it fits in here easier. and four. That's why I bought the bigger one with Easter and everything. You know. If you're going to make a cheesecake, it's better off just getting the big one. Okay. Got it all in there, I think, off the paper. Now let me wipe my hands and we're going to start mixing that. The tip that I have for you as far as cheesecake is concerned. You shouldn't have lumps. That's the oven letting me know it's preheated. If this is creamed and it's at room temperature, you won't get lumps. Okay, I am going to lower this down. Lock it. And we're going to start creaming that. Oh, it might help if it was plugged in all the way. go. That's a lot of cream cheese for this size KitchenAid. My KitchenAid is in storage, so I'm going to get it all creamed together and get smooth. said take your cream cheese out in advance sorry it's shaking the cover take it out in advance 
let it come to room temperature and it will make this process a lot easier. I'm gonna get it off the batter, I mean off the paddle. I'm just gonna knock this down. It's already getting nice and creamy. Look at that. Scrape the bowl. Whip it up. Now I'm going to go in with my uh, one cup of sugar. Now we're going to start mixing that slowly. At least till it starts getting incorporated. There we go. Okay, that sugar is definitely incorporated and now I'm going to go in with a teaspoon of vanilla I'm going to pour it right into the cap teaspoon of vanilla and then we're going to have to do our eggs but one at a time so let's get the vanilla going I'm gonna turn it down on low I'm gonna try to do one egg at a time so it is completely incorporated And number four, right on in. That is looking delicious. I'm gonna stop it and I wanna scrape the sides. Look at how creamy that is. I'm just gonna try to scrape best as possible because in case there's any lumps on the paddle or in the middle, we have a chance to get it all mixed up. Okay. Sorry, sorry let me speak English. If it shakes you um, when it's mixing. So let's lower this down. I'm going to move you back just a tiny bit. Lock it. That's to make sure if there was any extra cream cheese on the paddle it, you have an opportunity to get all the lumps out of it okay now i'm going to go in with my lemon rinds i didn't want to dirty another thing so i just grated it right on to a paper plate Get that off my finger. 
So don't leave any of the lemon rind on the plate. And then I have to get ready to juice a lemon. There is some on the paddle. I can see that from here. So I'm just gonna scrape it off and I hope it gets all mixed in. The lemon rinds. makes it taste just I, I can't explain it fresh light and now we're going to go in with some lemon juice my original recipe is just a half of a lemon all depends on how juicy the lemon is trick is to hold your hands above don't mind the dog above like this so you don't get any or you could go like this with your hand, so God forbid if there's a seed, you will catch it. So like I said, it's all going to depend on how juicy your lemon is, the size of it, in order to do half of a lemon or a whole lemon, which mine's not that much more bigger, so juice of one lemon is going in and I'm being super careful to not get any of the seeds in there. Voila. Easy peasy. Now we just have to mix it and we're done. Let's see. We have our sugar, our vanilla, our four eggs, the lemon. Okay. Thank goodness. I am just about done. We're going to let that mix thoroughly and then we're going to put it in the graham cracker broth. That's it. I almost forgot to tell you that I did put my graham cracker crust in the oven for just seven minutes. Okay, I'm scraping the paddle. The graham cracker crust out of the oven. I don't do it for too, too long. And now I am just going to scrape this all down and get it into the pan. So let me scrape this and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, friends, I almost forgot to wrap the pan in foil. That could have been a disaster. So I just double wrapped the pan in foil. And now we're going to get this in the pan. Just scraping it to make sure I don't drop it. God bless you, powder. And you say it makes like the perfect amount for a bigger cheesecake. Okay, so I have it all out of the bowl. And I'm just going to spread this out like so. And then I'm going to use Jean's roaster pan, put a little bit of water in it, and put my cheesecake right in there. Uh, 325 for 325 for 55 minutes. So, looks good. There you have it. I don't always use a water bath, but this time I am because I don't want it to crack. Hopefully 
hopefully that's level. So I'm just going to put a few cups of water at the bottom. And I guess I'll show you this when it's all done. So hang tight. Okay, so there's the water. I have it up to about like right here. And now I'm going to put it in. And we're going to let it do it. This is what's going on. I turned the oven off. And I had the door cracked with a wooden spoon in it. Thought that I should come back on and let you know that. This is what it's looking like. You don't want to suddenly pull a cheesecake straight out of the oven. So once your 50 to 55 minutes is up, turn it off, leave the door cracked, and let a spoon hang out of it. And I'll show you the finished product as soon as it fully comes out of the oven. There it is, out of the oven. I closed that and emptied the water out of there. And now I'm just going to let this rest. And what you can do is you can add some cherry pie filling on the top. Or you could do like a blueberry preserve. You could do a chocolate ganache. But there it is, with no cracks in it. Looks gorgeous. I hope that you enjoyed this video. This will be for Easter. So, again, happy Easter. <laughs> Like I said, you might see this after Easter, but there it is. Like I said, I'm just going to let it rest. Um, God bless. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you for all the love and support to the channel, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, friends.